high? Is my voice annoying because it's higher? Women are lowering their voices to be taken more seriously and be better respected. This is wrong, and I'm here to tell you why it's happening, the research behind why it's happening, and why it needs to stop. Let me go into more depth as to why they are. Women, particularly women in male-dominated and public fields, are lowering their voices essentially to blend, to have one less thing about them ridiculed. Also, because when women talk about important topics, their opinions aren't always taken as seriously because of the history behind what women are supposed to do with their life. It's a mental thing. Something you could be doing subconsciously and not even know it. But it's there. Let me use a few women you know as examples. Margaret Thatcher and the Queen of England. They have lowered their voices over the years, and now it's not clear if they did this on purpose or if they did it subconsciously, but the fact still remains that they did. Actually, this isn't just in their heads. In the 2012 election for the House of Representatives, the University of Miami found that candidates, both men and women, with lower voices had a better chance of being elected. Not only that, but they also had people rate past presidents of the U.S., and they found that people generally said that those with lower voices were shown as having greater integrity and prowess. So now you know it affects your popularity, but does it affect your ability to do your job if you work in politics? The quick answer is no. It's a complex answer, though, so I'll make it short. If you have an annoying, high voice, you're most likely not going to make it past the election. But let's say, by some miracle, you make it past. It won't affect your ability to do your job. Sure, some people will say, ah, that voice is annoying, but if you have something important to say, they will listen. Now, voices are an interesting thing, and when I say lowering their voices, by that I mean lowering their pitch. Women's voices are generally a full octave higher than men's. They have lowered over 28 hertz over the last 50 years. A hertz is a measure of frequency, if you were wondering. That's crazy. In conclusion, a woman shouldn't have to lower her voice just to be heard. History has shown that women feel the need to, which they shouldn't. All women should feel comfortable with their voices, and we need to focus more on a woman's words, not her voice. Thank you. Thank you.